This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to customize your iPad's cursor. If you've never connected a mouse or trackpad to your iPad, either via Bluetooth, pogo pins, or a USB cable, then you've probably never seen the little gray circle that acts as a cursor, much like you would have on a Mac or PC. If you have connected one of these and want to make it a little easier to see, there are some ways to do that. Open the Settings app, and tap the Accessibility section. In the right hand pane, scroll down to the Physical and Motor section and tap on Pointer Control. Note this will only appear if the mouse and trackpad is actively connected to your iPad. If you don't see the option, then your iPad doesn't see the device. The first section is primarily about appearance, where you can increase the contrast, set whether the cursor is always visible or disappears after being inactive, and set the color of the outline of the cursor. Increased contrast means that when the cursor changes its internal color, the difference will be more noticeable. Setting the cursor color here doesn't change the whole color unfortunately, only the outline. By default, you have no outline. You can change it to white or five other colors, and can increase the border size so at least there is more of your preferred color. Going back to the main cursor options, you can also increase the cursor size. At a certain size, a small dot will appear in the center of your cursor, indicating the specific selection point when clicking on something. You also have trackpad inertia. When enabled, it makes the point of feel more floaty as it continues moving a bit after you let go. How much inertia and how fast it moves depends on how fast you move your finger across the trackpad or move the mouse. Lastly is the cursor speed, meaning how fast it moves the cursor across the screen in response to your movement. This is not the same as page scrolling speed when you're reading an article or web page. This is one I had to quickly find and change as the default cursor speed is a little slow for me, and I needed to move it to a little over halfway up the line to make it usable for me. There's not much here, but at least you know where it is and how to customize your cursor. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website, easyosx.net, as well as our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.